What's up, everybody? We are back. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, can we get the see? Oh, Zia and Tower in the background. Oh, right Amazing. The six. All right. So the last time we did a Q&A with Aaron, he was, a, I'm going to say like four weeks out from the Arnold. Yeah, just about. Yeah. So now we are a little under four weeks out from the Toronto Pro. Mm -hmm. um, tell us how you're feeling, what your diet is like, training, cardio. Have you changed anything based on like how you ended up at the Arnold? Is your, is your peak week going to be different? Is your last month going to be different? Yeah, as a matter of fact, a lot of things have already changed. I started working with a new coach, Evan Lagasse, physique doctor, shout out, my man. And, uh, you know, it's very interesting to see a lot of the different approaches that uh, coaches use. Not to rhyme, make tape dropping soon. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm corny like that, it's Monday. But, um, you know, everybody has a different approach to getting the same result, ultimately. And for me, it was more about working with a new coach to learn different methods and approaches that I can use to help my athletes. So I'm not going to reveal some of the things that we've uh, made modifications to, but essentially coming off of the Arnold Classic, uh, where I got first call-outs, which was, was great representing Canada, as you know, um, it was a lot easier to reverse diet out of that show. Yeah. After I competed at the Olympia last year, um, to the Arnold Classic, I didn't take any uh, any time off. I didn't have an off season. I was doing photo shoots uh, and a few other like um, <clears throat> video shoots as well. So I had to maintain my condition, which, as you guys know, at the IFBB Pro level, it's very competitive. So you want to make sure that you can conform to the size. They yeah. did mention that there was going to be a muscle reduction in the men's physique category, which I see they're honoring uh, a little bit in the IFBB. So that gives me a little bit of. Um, you know, reassurance. Yep. But uh, otherwise, I feel really good about a lot of things that I've been doing. Three, four weeks out right now, I just started doing cardio, which is a uh, little... I enjoy girls it. Girls everywhere are upset with you right now. Why is that? <laughs> because we all have to start our cardio like 16 weeks out fast. Oh my God. Yeah, sorry, okay. sorry, no, ladies. Anyway. I enjoy it. Um, you know, you just got to make the most of everything. It's, it's part of the process, and you have to enjoy the process. You have to be warm with the process as much as you possibly can. And... I welcome cardio because I know for myself specifically, that's when I start to see a lot of the modifications that, um, or rather, my body starts to adapt to, to the modifications of cardio. Yeah. I've started doing legs three times a week right now um, in And that's place with of cardio. what injuries also? ACL and meniscus tear since this guy uh, 2014. Is a soldier. A soldier. Yeah, I haven't really shared that with anybody, so that's a Muscle Insider exclusive. But <laughs> he's um, got torn ligaments. Friends, we don't necessarily endorse this. You don't have to train no. on broken meniscus and ACL. No, unless you're an IFBB pro. <laughs> Definitely don't do it. Um, but you know, it, it is a profession, so you know, you got to learn your body. You got to be very uh, strategic with your approach because injuries do happen. It's unfortunate, um, you know, but there's always ways to remain active. You don't want to ever, you know, put yourself into a hypokinetic lifestyle where you just throw in the towel. So there's always ways that you can remain physically active. And um, yeah, I'm enjoying doing legs three times a week. It's better than cardio, not gonna lie. Um, so training, where are we? Okay, uh, we've <laughs> got training, cardio, um, what else? Oh, you competed. We got the Arnold, the Toronto Pro, the Vancouver Pro. Yes. Um, you're super successful as a like a contest prep coach, but also a personal trainer. How do you balance everything? How are you currently balancing everything now that we're in like the thick of the IFBB Pro that season? Is a very good question. I actually, I really don't know, honestly. Like Nike says, just do it. Really. Um, you know, I'm 25 years old, and when people ask me, "What do you do for work?" I tell them I'm retired because I don't consider what I'm doing work. Like, you know, connecting with my athletes, Legend Nation, uh, I don't consider it work. You know, these, these individuals have now become family. Um, so, you know, I don't sleep as much as I should or as I could, but with everything that I'm doing, I'm ensuring that I cover all the grounds. I keep a to-do list. My to-do list is a lot longer than the CN Tower. I'm just going to state that. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, you make goals for yourself, you get over them, but you have to put the people first. In our industry, at least, you know, being a, a contest prep coach and obviously uh, a fitness and health consultant, you know, I got to kind of take the back seat on my life and my lifestyle sometimes to elevate and push the team and others forward. Yeah. So I don't consider it work. You know, you, I don't have time, but I make time. Oh, I like that. Um, and now let's talk about Magnum a little. At three weeks out, how oh, yeah. have your how has your supplement regimen 
How has it changed since, I guess, more of the off season, like right after the Arnold leading up to the Toronto Pro? And are you still intermittent fasting? Oh, snap. Okay, coach doesn't want me to do an intermittent fasting. Okay. I enjoy doing intermittent fasting. Um, you know, not the full protocol of intermittent fasting, which is by standard 16 hours without eating yeah. in a fasted state, you know, consuming things uh, that are no calorie or no carb or anything of that sort. Um, so I've made modifications there as well. In the off season, I've reintroduced a few different like carbs post-workout. I like to train in the morning, as you guys know, sun is shining. Um, but Magnum has now released Carne DM, which is an L-carnitine, yep. Afterburner, which is an overnight fat burner, which I've never even heard of. Marcus, you're amazing. Yeah, we love you. Yep. Boss, <laughs> congrats <laughs> on your cover. Um, the third one? And the other one is Drip Dry, which is a, um, a natural diuretic, which I'm excited to use. I haven't yeah. used it just yet, but I'm definitely going to be using that as I roll into the TO Pro. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Um, so is anything different? Like, are you on more BCAs as your calories get lower? Does anything like that change? Everything stays sustained. Um, you know, for me, I like to use BCAs as a way to force myself to stay hydrated. Like, I'll consume about 10 liters of water a day. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, you know, it could get a little dull, you know, drink. I wish I had my bob. Oh, I have it right here. Boom. <laughs> right by my is side. Here? This is Bay right here. Yeah. Um, this is obviously Magnum. BCAs, high five, strawberry, I forget what it is, strawberry deliciousness. Um, there's some creatine in there as well. A lot of people like to stay away from creatine really close to a show because they think that it bloats them, blah, 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 blah. It's part of my protocol. Clearly, I know, Aaron I mean, Legend does not think creatine bloats him, but no, creatine, if you've seen his pictures, creatine does not bloat him. Creatine and I are friends. Yeah. There's some glutamine in there as well. Um, but as you guys can see, there's a huge chunk of ice right there, like an iceberg. And, you know, what I like to do is I'll fill it up halfway with water overnight, freeze it, and then fill the rest up with water. And that way it stays cool, it stays fresh. Yeah. Uh, and I know that I'm getting at least four liters of water in, um, you know, by the time my workout is done. So I'll have about two of those and I'll have a little bit more water uh, throughout the day. So hydration, always high. Yeah. Hydration. For a reason. You're so clever. I'm so corny. <laughs> um, okay, any final message for Muscle Insider viewers, for the Legend Nation, for people who aren't Legend Nation just yet? What do you want to end with? Uh, just want to say thank you for the support. Thank you for you know helping me push myself forward. Um, and you know the funny thing that a lot of people tell me is how much I've helped inspire them, uh, you know, on their fitness and health journey. Um, but you know, you guys got to understand at the end of the day, when I read your positive comments and your messages, you know, it's like a, it's like a ladder of positivity. You know, you guys, I may be feeling low one day, but you guys will help bring me up. And the more elevated and positive that I'm feeling, the more, uh, you know, I find that I can be of service to others and help bring them up. You know, real true leaders uplift others, um, with no intentions, no ulterior motives. And, you know, I just want you guys to know that I'm grateful for everything that you guys do. Follow me on Instagram, at AaronLegendIFBBPro. And leave me a comment if you want. And, uh, you know, that way we can connect. Because I see everything. And I want um, to make sure that for those of you that are on my journey with me, that I can take you, uh, you know, along with me as well. But also, understand, health over aesthetics. Do not risk having a great-looking physique. Uh, do not risk your health to have a great looking physique because at the end of the day you have to live with you for the rest of your entire life oh. And I'm telling you it's it's not worth it. Some people are taking things a little too extreme um, You know as you guys know, I'm a natural uh, IFBB pro and I'm proud of that and I truly believe that you can Achieve whatever it is that you want to do naturally. So look within the answer is there everybody you possess purpose and uh, you know if you have a little bit of difficulty bring that out within yourself um, connect with me and I'd be more than happy to help share with you how you can bring your purpose to the light guys he talks like this all the time for those of you who thinks he's just being cheesy for the camera <laughs> he's laughing because like you know what I'm gonna say I this is the second time I followed him around but we hang out at all of the IFBB pro shows he is this authentic and genuine and humble and amazing all the time he stopped to talk to like Here comes five <laughs> to, thank like, you five people that he didn't Insane. even know yeah. are you okay at the gym yeah. today and he's just like 
I'll just follow you around and help you out with anything you need. Like these are people who aren't his clients and he's willing to help them. So, and if you check out his social media posts, Facebook, Instagram, everything he does is so consistent because he truly believes it. Like this is who Aaron Legend is. This isn't a game. This isn't just a brand. This is the person. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, purity. Always. Absolutely. All right, <laughs> thank guys. You Muscle Insider. Thank you, Jamie. Thank Another you. Another hug the for the road. <sighs> thank you so much Love for ya. tuning in, everybody. And we are going to bring you arms on another day, and we're going to bring you shoulders on another day. So stay tuned. Ciao. Uh oh. Swipe down. It's still going.